everybody. Thanks for joining me here today. This is Nicole with Topaz, and today's uh, tip session is going to be all about using the blending modes to get that perfect glow effect for your image. So if you're unfamiliar with blending modes and, and really what they are, to put it pretty simply, blending modes gives us different ways for... Um, if you're talking about layer blend modes, uh, different layers to kind of interact with each other or blend with each other. And within the Topaz Glow program, you can think about your original image as being the base layer and then the effect that's being applied to your image as the layer on top. So really, the blending modes within Topaz Glow are going to um, change how that base image and the affected image interact with each other. The area that you can find the blending modes within Topaz Glow is down here on the bottom left. You'll see Blend Mode. And the reason we included this within the program is because without it, you are limited to just this strength or opacity blend. And really, that doesn't give a ton of great results with a lot of the effects especially if you're working with something like a neon effect, like our let's, Brilliant Fibers 3. If all we did was come in and change the strength of the, and I chose one that actually does look good with it, <laughs> let's try this Brilliant Fibers 1. And now I'll change the strength, and it just doesn't necessarily give you the best options. Um, so we wanted to include blending modes that really um, gave you different looks um, and quick ways to achieve those looks. Within our blend mode options, we have just click on the little arrows and it'll pull up the different blend modes we have available. We have six, which includes the normal blend mode, which is no blend mode whatsoever. And then we have multiply, which is a darkening mode. So it's always going to darken your image. Then we have screen, which is a lightening mode. And that's always going to lighten your image in some way or another. And then you have overlay, soft light, and hard light. And those three are going to be more contrast blends. So it's usually going to darken your shadows or, or, or darker tones, lighten um, your lighter tones, and preserve contrast within your image in different ways. So let's talk about each one real quick and where it might be helpful um, as far as when to use it. So the first one, let's go ahead and um, let's get into a different, so we'll go into our graphics. We'll choose the Brilliant on Black 3 for now. That works great. So here's before, here's after. I really love this image for neon, uh, the, these neon effects and for Topaz Glow because it just is a, it's a perfect image for it. But there's certain things that off the bat that I notice about this particular preset, so Brilliant on Black 3, that I'm not liking. Number one, I lose the uh, detail and the darkness of the clownfish's eye and certain areas that um, I want to preserve that darkness. And I'm also um, just not seeing as much detail. It's a little too soft for me. So a really good choice for this, I believe, is either going to be one of the contrasts or multiply. Multiply is going to give me a much darker image, but it will bring back that darker eye and allow for me to kind of get less of a soft or bright image. The contrast modes are going to bring back in that darkness because again it darkens your darker tones, lightens the lighter tones, and preserves that contrast. So the overlay, soft light, or hard light should all preserve that dark tone of the eye. So here's a great example of where and why you might just use a blending mode just real quick. Another type of uh, blending mode that I really like to use is the screen blending mode when I'm wanting to add just some of that electrical neon light that a lot of Topaz Glow produces without actually changing my overall uh, base image effect. So let's hop on into the neon effects where we really start to see some of these glowing effects. So let's go to our glowing wires here. So I really like this glowing wires, but obviously like I, I, I don't really see the subject anymore, but I think that applying it on top of my base image might really give some interesting effects. So 
you could try to blend it back in with that string slider, but this is an example of where it doesn't really give you the best results. But if you use the screen mode, which again, the screen mode is going to lighten the image, so or it's a lightening mode. So what that's going to do is look at the base image and look at the affected image that we have here on our screen, and it's going to keep the lighter of most of those effects. So when we have these really dark areas, you can just fill that right back in with your base image by pressing the screen. And then the light, bright, neon glowing effects are still placed on top of the image because they're the lighter of those two images, so it's preserved. Here's before here's after, but it's mixed back in, in a much more natural way. So you get this glowing wires effect placed on top of your image. So this is a great example of where a screen mode might become uh, beneficial in your overall ending effect. Other areas, um, so let's say you're in your Elysium here and you just want to add really bright white edges here, I would use a screen mode. I put those bright white edges everywhere before and after. If I have my, let's say, Heavy Metal 2, and I really like the way that the um, overall effect, but I just want to bring back in some of the color, I would come in and maybe overlay it on my image. What that's going to do, it's going to preserve the contrast itself, but it's going to bring back that color um, from the below image. So I get that kind of um, metal effect without the uh, desaturation. So these blending modes offer you a ton of more different looks than uh, the 72 presets that are currently within Topaz Glow. So you can multiply every single one of those presets by five at least, and you have that many looks available at your fingertips very, very quickly. So I hope that gives you a good idea on how you can use blend modes within Topaz Glow to just perfect the glowing effect that you're after on your image. All right, everybody, thank you so much for joining me again, and I hope you have a great rest of the day, evening, or morning, wherever you are. Take care. Bye-bye.